focus and the unfocus. Ugh, it has been a minute since I've made a YouTube video. If you watch my TikTok, I've been more recent on there than I have on here. It's just easier to make TikToks, but I miss vlogging. So today, here we are. As you know from the title, we're gonna do a car photo shoot. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while. I have um, a Pinterest board actually with like all the reference photos of what I want to actually get for like car photography and a model. Let's pack my bag and get out of here so we can go meet my model. helping us vlog today. Thank you Thank so you. much. <laughs> I ha having another person like help you record always helps. It's hard to do it by myself, you know, it is. But we're gonna go out to Loxahatchee area, kind of by Dubois and Corbett. Pretty far, uh, it's like about 30, 45 minutes depending on traffic. But I'm excited for the locations because this one uh, found them, or should I say, I'm sorry, the behind the scenes man took them. <laughs> So we're gonna go out there, it's a really cool location. Really exciting. Yeah, all right, let's get going. Yes. Yeah. a sugar cane. This is all sugar cane over here. I hope these come out okay. <laughs> we'll see. Yes. All right. photo shoots you always learn something in this case I learned that I should have shown my model how I wanted her for each photo instead of directing her and telling her what to do I should have shown her I did get quite a few photos um, some of them I think came out pretty good but you tell me for yourself so here's a little slideshow of them because there's so many of them Another thing that I learned on this photo shoot was the time. We went out 
pretty far and it was midday on a Florida summer day. Not the greatest idea because Florida summers are super hot. The time that we went was not ideal because the sun was at its highest point, especially midday. So it was a beaming hot out, which made all of us just want to get the shots and then get out of there. Instead of like taking our time and whatnot, it just got too hot to be outside and we had to turn the car on for AC. Also, another thing that I noticed was my camera settings. I felt that they weren't right because I wanted to get the model and the car in focus. I was using my 24 to 70 millimeter lens. I should have actually use my 35 or 85 to test those out to see if they would have came out you know more clear i thought i was good with a 24 to 70. so for next time i know that i should definitely try one of those lenses with car photography so many lessons learned from this photo shoot i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a like and subscribe to see more of my stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one bye